Good evening to you. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tiffany Murphy. And I'm Greg Kerr, Social Distancing. We begin tonight, Beaumont firefighters and event planners preparing for the city's July 4th fireworks display, but COVID-19 is forcing the city to scale back the event. KFDM's Paige Hubbard is live near the event center in downtown Beaumont. Paige? Yeah, Greg, this year things will be much different. Last year, dozens of families came out here to the event center to celebrate, but with COVID-19 continuing to run rapid and numbers are steadily increasing across Texas and here in Jefferson County, the city is prompting to a more safer approach this year. This is how the 4th of July celebration looked last year in Beaumont. This year, things will be much different. But this year, due to COVID, we have decided to just shoot the fireworks at 9 p.m. in downtown. And there's lots of free parking in downtown Beaumont. Beaumont event director Emily Wheeler says COVID-19 has forced the city to cancel many events. While Beaumont is moving ahead with the 4th of July fireworks show, Wheeler says organizers have one important request for families. We're encouraging people to come down and stay in their vehicles and enjoy the show at a distance. Other changes include no food vendors or entertainment. You can download an app called Sky Wonder Pyrotechnics that will allow you to listen to music while you watch the show. Whatever you do, safety is number one. I do plan to celebrate, but uh, certainly using social distancing and uh, mostly around the house on the patio. While Gwen Dalcor will remain at home to celebrate, others are staying away for different reasons. The black man is not in Included in the Constitution, which is part of Texas's independence and America's independence. And for that reason, I don't think I'm going to participate. Those who do head downtown say the best view is facing the Natchez River and then look up. And while Beaumont is continuing to move forward with their 4th of July celebration, many people are prompting to the old fashioned way and that's staying at home. KFDM's Victoria White is up next to tell us how people here are celebrating the 4th of July at home. Victoria? Anastasia Seifel is shopping at Jake's Fireworks. Like many people, her 4th of July celebrations have changed because of COVID-19. My son's birthday is so close to the 4th of July, we usually have a big party and this year we're not doing that. Seifel is going to a small gathering at a close family member's lake house, about six people. She says they'll be social distancing and wearing a mask in public. For the Seifels, avoiding COVID-19 is an utmost concern. My son is three and I'm pregnant, so um, we are a little worried and we do try to stay home most of the time. And um, yeah, doctor's appointments are a little different. Nobody can come with me. The co-owner of Jake stresses fireworks safety, like adult supervision, having a bucket of water on hand, lighting them on solid ground and away from a crowd. When you're doing your fireworks, make sure that you read the safety label, follow the safety instructions, and use common sense. This year, there's also the added element of social distancing. I think it's going to cause a lot of people to do them where, where they're doing them smaller crowds at home. And I think that's going to increase the number of people that do it because they would normally go to the show, especially during the uh, 4th of July that we've seen in the past. Jake's is seeing an increase in first time buyers and about a 20% increase in sales per customer as those like the disciples do their part at preventing COVID-19. We don't want to gather with too many people and just still socially distance and having fun this 4th of July. In Nederland, Victoria White, KFDM 6 News. And a reminder, shooting fireworks in most incorporated cities is against the law.